name is Echo and welcome to another episode of my Minecraft title update 17 question and answer series. Now if you are new to this series, this is where I answer questions based on my opinions about Minecraft title update 17, next generation Minecraft and Minecraft in general. Now in the last episode, I asked you guys if we could hit 500 likes for a super quick episode. We did that, so here is this episode. So let's see if this can hit 700 likes. I'd be so happy if we could. Now previously, since the last episode, I did see that Mojang have announced they are working on a new hostile mob that lives underwater. They said it currently doesn't do much, but it will be coming and it will be nasty. Also, 4G Studios have announced that they will be showcasing Minecraft, Xbox One, or PlayStation 4 at E3. That is in four days time. I will keep you all updated with that. So we have some great questions in this episode that you guys left in the comment section. But as always, if you did feel your question was not answered and still deserves to be answered, leave it down below. And if you agree with someone else's question, be sure to thumbs it up so I don't miss it. So let's get into this. I hope you do enjoy. The first question is, will TU17 allow Xbox One and 360 to join up? Now this is a great question and a lot of people have been confused, but sadly Xbox One and Xbox 360 will not be cross-platform, while Xbox uh, One will be different to Xbox 360, but it is kind of annoying because PlayStation 3 and PS Vita will be cross-platform. You can link them up, you can play on PlayStation 3, then you can switch to your Vita and continue that world. So I don't know why they couldn't do 360 to the Xbox One. I would imagine because the consoles, although it is 360 uh, and Xbox One and they are owned by Microsoft, they are in fact totally different. They feel completely different to me and to me it's kind of like a different console overall but I would have liked to have seen some kind of cross-platform. We will still get texture packs, skin packs and our worlds available on Minecraft Xbox One but if your friend owns an Xbox One and you own a 360, sadly you won't be able to play with him. So the next question here from Owen Beeks. Hey Echo, I have two questions. First, do you think that the PS Vita version of Minecraft will be similar to PS4 and Xbox One? What do you think the hostile mob is going to be and what its abilities are? So let me answer the first part of your question first. I feel the PlayStation Vita version of Minecraft is going to be more similar to Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. That's just my overall opinion because I just feel that PlayStation 3 and PS Vita are linked together, which means that you can be playing a PlayStation 3 world and you have to head out, you're going on vacation, you're on a long journey. You can switch to your Vita and continue that world. So I guess because of that interlinking the cross-platform, I kind of feel PS Vita is going to be closer to PlayStation 3 Minecraft. As for the new mob, I have absolutely no idea what it's going to be. Maybe its abilities could be where it could shock you or can give you some kind of a disabled ability for a limited time. I have no idea, but I am looking forward to the more news that we do get about that mob. So next question from Slime Time, great name by the way. I think T17 will add most things from 1.4, some things from 1.5, and a few things brought forward. Do you agree? Now, I solely do agree with you here. I believe 1.4 is going to be the main update, witches, bats, with a boss, etc. But 4D Studios have said that the actual Java version of Minecraft is not exactly the same on Xbox or PlayStation. They kind of do switch it up a bit and they do introduce more things, which I do feel. Yeah, so I do agree with you there. I strongly do agree. It will be mainly around 1.4. They will bring a few things from 1.5 and hopefully they can bring some other great additions all the way forward from the future of Minecraft PC. So thanks for that question. Let's move on. Philip said... Whatever happened to PC texture packs coming to Minecraft console, please answer. Now this is a great question and in fact everyone's turned a blind eye to this question or to this overall news because a long long time ago when people first heard about texture packs, 4G Studios did say that they were hoping to get some PC version texture packs available on Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. This never happened and I do believe this is all down to legal terms. I don't even know if it's still being discussed to this day, but I would love to see Sparks, Dokucraft, Faithful. I would love to see all these texture packs available 
on the console versions but I have no news about this I will try and tweet it towards 4D Studios maybe they can give us an update or a final decision on what they did find out so the question here from Golden Buddha, I'm just going to narrow down. He basically said, can you switch from creative to survival or from survival to creative in the next update or a future update? Now, this is a great question and I believe this should be introduced where you're playing a map, you're testing your mini game, you want to switch from creative to survival because that's the whole point of that mini game itself. Um, but I don't know whether they actually will. I believe the only reason why you back out is so you can save your game unless you actually have to have autosave constantly then I don't think they'll ever do this. The whole point of autosave was so you didn't have to back out and save every so often. So a great question. This is something that 4G Studios certainly should look into, maybe for Xbox One and PlayStation 4, but I would love to see it on the current gen versions of Minecraft as well. So the next question from Tate. Do you think we'll ever be able to break a mob spawner with a silk touch pickaxe and get mushrooms and spawners in creative? Now a lot of people don't really know this I remember when silk touch was actually introduced to Minecraft Xbox that everyone thought you could break spawners with silk touch but this is a mod it's not actually in Minecraft itself it's a mod that a community has made but I do agree this mod should be introduced into Minecraft console don't forget Minecraft is built on its community and a lot of things that are introduced are requested by the community so who knows I would love to see that fingers crossed that people do keep going on about this on Minecraft in general and it will be introduced as for get mushrooms and spawners in creative I'd love to see uh, both of these in creative as well especially spawners for those map creators who do fully enjoy it but I can't say because I really don't know I just know that the mob spawner with a silk touch is an actual mod and not in the game and so next question from Brandon Prime, will command blocks be in 217? Now this is a question asked over and over and over and over and over again. I have answered it previously in the past, but let me confirm this guys. It is possible to have this, but I don't think it will be in TU17 because if 4G Studios can make commands for fly, why can't they make commands where you can only have certain commands? Um, sorry, if they can make commands for fly, why can't they make certain commands for other things such as certain blocks for maybe um, different type of game modes? So I don't know why 4G Studios haven't introduced anything like this. And I would love to see something like this in the future. Maybe not TU17 because I feel TU17 will be the first update on my Minecraft, Xbox One and PlayStation 4 so they have to have something to focus on in the future. So the next question from Diam Llama, <laughs> do you think snowballs and eggs will ever uh, will be able to damage slash hit a player in the future update please answer and hopefully yes because it is available on PC uh, and it would make for an awesome a truly awesome mini game I could see a lot of people creating the likes of Splag um, you can see the likes of Spleef you could see the likes of all the cool things as available snowball fights it would be truly amazing uh, and I do hope 40 Studios would introduce and I would imagine because it is available on the PC edition it should also be available on the console version in time as well. So the next question, moving on, we're going through these questions pretty fast. Uh, Morganic said, will 4J ever fix the lag and the chunks not loading in online multiplayer? Now, thank you for this question. I've been waiting for someone to ask this question because a lot of people may not know that we've only started to experience the chunk lag with the last update. And the reason why this is happening is because we are pushing the limit on Minecraft, Xbox and PlayStation 3. By that I mean, obviously Minecraft is a very high in demand game. It needs a lot of care. Uh, it means a lot of things are being introduced. And when you put a lot of big things into a small package, it is kind of bursting to, to break out, which means bugs do happen. I don't think lag and stuff like this will be common on Xbox One or PlayStation 4 because of the actual console's ability. It's 10 times better than uh, 360 and PlayStation 3, but I'm hoping they can fix the lag. They did introduce two updates to try and fix the lag. There is still a few issues there, but the whole reason why we're having lag is because of the, all the new additions that are being introduced to the game. For example, when Minecraft had like TU9 or TU12, um, there wasn't too much lag, but considering there's lots more things in there now, such as bigger jungle biomes, you've got the jungle temples, the desert temples, etc. They are causing lag in the game. I have noticed this. 4D Studios are going to have to resolve this in better way than they currently are because I have noticed more chunks are being very, very laggy indeed. So thank you for that question. I did highly appreciate that. 
So next question from Sen. Do you think that Minecraft console version will ever catch up to PC version update wise? I don't. I don't think the console version will ever catch up and if it does, it's going to be a good three or four years until it ever does. So you shouldn't have any worry. I like the fact that the console version is behind because I like when things are introduced, I get to refresh my mind on what was introduced. I can focus on certain things and you guys seem to like that as well, which is why console is definitely a very popular addition. Uh, so thank you for that. I don't think they will ever catch up. Not anytime soon anyway uh, the question here do you think that t17 will uh, will delay will be delayed because of ps4 ps vita and xbox one now i did tell you guys uh, this in the past yes there will be a delay on the next update because 4G Studios main focus is Xbox One, PlayStation 4 and PS Vita versions of Minecraft. It was inevitable, it was always going to happen. Once that's out there, I would imagine 4G Studios main focus will be title update 17 and I have been tweeting towards them today asking them if they are currently working on TU17. I just pretty much said after uh, the last update, do you start working on the next update because I don't want to have to wait 6, 8, 9 months for another update. That would be very frustrating to see and the community did get very angry indeed but 40 studios have grown their company they have more offices they have more people working behind the scenes which is great so hopefully t17 will be a lot earlier than title update 14 and um, so the question from mikey lund hey echo Will we ever get mob spawners in creative? Now, like I did answer this question earlier on in this, but I want to focus on this a little bit more. I would love to see the mob spawners, and I would imagine 4D Studios, they could do it. There's a lot of space on the creative inventory to place slots for spawners. I have noticed that where you actually have the spawn eggs, they could be useful right there, especially for the people who love creative. There's so many people who love creative that want to make their mini games, that want to make games to keep the community alive. Just want spawners and not having to mod them in. The mods can kind of mess up your map. So fingers crossed, guys. Tweet this video towards 4G Studios. You can also go and check the Minecraft um, forums where you can talk about bugs, what you'd like to see. Because they do read it. Minecraft is a community game. They base their updates off what the community would like to see. Obviously, have their own opinions as well. So the last question here. I has no idea. One said, do you think we'll ever get we able to get the PC crafting bench view? I like it more and I think it's more realistic. Now, no, I don't think we'll ever, ever have the PC crafting because the console crafting is unique, it's different, and that's why it makes it different from the PC version. You'll also notice more kids play the console version because it is user-friendly. So, sorry to burst your bubble there. We'll never get the manual, um, sorry, yeah, the manual crafting bench uh, not anytime soon, and I don't think anytime at all. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. I enjoy making them. If we can hit 700 likes, I will bring you a super duper 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 fast next episode. Be sure to hit that like button. Be sure to leave a comment down below, and I'll try and answer it in the next episode. You guys are awesome. I love this series. I'm Echo, and have a great day. Bye.